They're not coming? No, they had plans. How could they have plans? That's what I want to know. What difference does it make? They wouldn't lie to us. They're our dear friends. What am I supposed to do with all this paella? We said tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they don't like us. Why wouldn't they like us? I had to go to the proctologist. The proctologist? Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I was so worried. Ma, don't cry. Oh, I can't help it. Ma, your eyes. Oh! I heard noise. Maybe it was a mouse. Okay, that's it. We're moving. What? I will not tolerate infestation. You haven't even seen one. Don't you understand the very thought, the very idea? I'll never be comfortable again. All right, Frank, that's enough. Don't upset me. I can't cry. Getting an eye job like some Manhattanite, huh? Well, it's already working. Kramer made a pass at me. Kramer made a pass at you? You're crazy. I'm not crazy. He stopped short and made a grab. He stopped short? That's my move. You know, I was thinking today. I never liked those Seinfelds anyway. He's an idiot altogether. George, I'm hungry. Hang on, uh, hang on. I feel a draft. Let's change tables. Get out of here. We have a booth. Frank, I'm cold. Order a hot dish. Why can't we sit over there? That's not a booth. So who says we have to sit in a booth? I didn't take the subway all the way to New York to sit at a table like that. No, I didn't take the subway to be in a drafty restaurant. You're not Chinese? No. I thought you were Chinese. From Long Island. Long Island? I thought I was getting advice from a Chinese woman. I'm sorry. Well, then that changes everything. <laughs> what? She's not Chinese. I was duped. So what? She's still taking advice. What's the difference if she's not Chinese? I'm not taking advice from some girl from Long Island. <laughs> I told you to clean up. This is a place of business. I told you never to come in here. Serenity now! All right. Dad, you really should lay off the serenity now stuff. So, what am I supposed to say? Hoochie mama? <laughs> A prophylactic rapper? <laughs> what is this doing on my bed? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> you were having sex on our bed? Yes. <laughs> Who told you you could have sex in our bed? Well, my bed is too small. Your bed is too small? I'm gone two weeks and you turn our house into... into Bourbon Street? Where am I going to sleep? What are you talking about? I can't sleep in there. Of course you can. I can't. I can't! Hello? Ma! Guess what? Oh, my God. No, it's nothing bad. I'm getting married. You're what? I'm getting married. Oh, my God, you're getting married? Yes. Oh, I can't believe it. Frank, come here. You come here. Georgie's getting married. What? Georgie's getting married. Get the hell out of here. He's getting married? Yes. To a woman? Of course, a woman. What's she look like? I'm sure she's plenty gorgeous. What difference does it make what she looks like? Is she pretty? Yes, she's pretty. What difference does it make? Well, I'm just curious. She's not pretty. Let me talk to her. She wants to talk to you. Uh, hello? Congratulations. I just want you to know that I love your son very much. You do? Yes. Really? Yes. 
May I ask why? <laughs> Will you stop? I'm on the telephone. Can I talk to her, please? <laughs> <laughs> knew you had beautiful hands. I used to tell people, Frank, didn't I used to talk about his hands? Who the hell did you ever mention his hands to? I mentioned his hands to plenty of people. You never mentioned it to me. And me an emery board. I always talk about your hands, how they're so soft and milky white. No, you never said milky white. I said milky white. <laughs> Scissor. Don't hand them to me with the point facing out. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'll try to be more careful. I hope so. <laughs> Georgie. Oh. Georgie, would you like some jello? Why'd you put the bananas in there? So let him have bananas on the side! All right, please! Please! I cannot have this constant bickering. Stress is very damaging to the epidermis. Now, I have an important photo session in the morning. My hands have got to be in tip-top shape. So please, keep the television down and the conversation to a minimum. But, Georgie, what about the jello? I'll take it to my room. understand you. I really don't. You have nothing better to do at three o'clock in the afternoon? I go out for a quart of milk. I come home and find my son treating his body like it was an amusement park. Ma. Don't give me ma. It's a good thing I didn't hit the table. I could have cracked my head open. Well, people can hear you. Too bad you can't do that for a living. You'd be very successful at it. You could sell out Madison Square Garden. Thousands of people could watch you. You could be a big star. That's enough. I want you to go see a psychiatrist. No, I am not going to see a psychiatrist. Why? Why not? Why won't you go? Because I don't want to. I want you to go see somebody. Well, I am not going. <laughs>